Hey, welcome back. In today's video, I have some more modest outfit inspiration for you all. As usual, don't forget to let me know which outfit was your favorite in the comments below. And everything's going to be linked in the description bar in case you're interested in any of the pieces. Don't forget to subscribe for more modest lookbooks. I'm going to try to do these once or twice a month as I have been starting this year. So there will be probably another one later this month too. And without further ado, let's dive right into the lookbook. So for the first outfit, I went for an all black ensemble. I really love this combination of a poofy sleeve top and then a pleated skirt. I like the silhouette. I've decided to jazz up the outfit with some layered necklaces both from Ana Luisa and I've added this pearl one because I wanted it to match my pearl headband which is from Amazon. I love popping on this headband for like a feminine touch to all my outfits and being at zoom conferences and video conferences a lot. I think that some type of statement headband or a headpiece can really help elevate your entire outfit. Even though this look is all black, I think that it still has a feminine touch to it though usually all black you may think of like an edgy look and this is because of the silhouette and cut of the fabrics. A pleated skirt is obviously like really flowy and romantic and also the poofy sleeves kind of have more of a Victorian or like romantic style to them. So feminine style does not mean that you just wear light colors and pink. It could just mean that you pay attention to the silhouettes of your clothing pieces and opt for flowy and romantic cuts and shapes. So the next outfit is another combination that I have been wearing lately and it's just a classic tee with a satin or silk midi skirt. I love satin and silk midi skirts because not only do they add a kind of dressier factor to my outfits but they're actually quite comfortable. They remind me of like a satin or silk pair of pajamas or a satin or silk slip dress. One thing that I love about this particular combination is the juxtaposition of something luxe like this silk material paired with a classic cotton uh, t-shirt. I've decided to finish off the outfit with some layered necklaces, both are from Ana Luisa, and I've added this onyx stone necklace showing on the stone side because I really wanted the black to match the black polka dots in my skirt. Speaking of the skirt, one thing that I like about the skirt is also that it is double lined. So usually when I'm looking at satin skirts or silk skirts or even silk and satin dresses, I try to make sure it does have that extra lining because it's kind of like a built-in slip. The next outfit is probably my favorite because I love a classic black and white combination. First, I started off with an all black look similar to the first look, but I decided to ditch the feminine silhouettes and just go for a classic black midi skirt and then a bodysuit. I mentioned in one of my Modest Dolling Hacks videos that a bodysuit is great for layering, and that's exactly what I did in this outfit. I actually layered over what is a dress, but I decided to unbutton it all the way through and wear it as a third layer. So kind of this is like a styling hack. You can also take your pieces in your closet to see if you can wear them different ways. In this case, this is what I did with the dress, which is now being styled as a cardigan. Given the monochrome color palette of this outfit, I did decide to add a little bit more jewelry than usual. I've added a bracelet, some layered necklaces, as well as hoop earrings. All of this jewelry is from Ana Luisa. This isn't um, sponsored, I promise, <laughs> but I do really love their pieces and I have a lot of pieces from them that really just help complete all my outfits. The last outfit, I'm wearing a wrap style skirt. I have this style skirt in different variations and colors. It's one of my favorite modest pieces because it's so easy to dress up or down. In this case, I've decided to dress it down with a black t-shirt and then I've just added some minimal gold jewelry like I have been doing in the previous outfits. I've also decided to add my DKNY bag and I took the straps off. That's one thing that I love about this bag. It's super versatile and I'm just wearing it as like a handheld bag or clutch, I do feel like this is a great look for when I have to run out the door. It's a no-brainer, but I can still feel modest and put together. One thing that I appreciate about this skirt is that the wrap detail just adds something really interesting to an otherwise pretty basic look, and it kind of is the focus of the rest of the outfit, which makes these wrap skirts for me a no-brainer in my wardrobe and would explain why I have them in so many colors. So with the outfits completed, as I mentioned in the beginning, let me know which look was your favorite. I always love to hear you all's comments and thoughts to see which looks you plan to take inspiration from or outfits that you can recreate with items you already have in your closet. I would love if you'd be able to subscribe so that that way I can see you again and you all can get some more modest fashion inspo. And until the next video, I'll see you later. Yeah, it's gonna play out the same.